All right, a little update on the van situation. Painting got done by Jordan the other day. I uh, did not record it because I was doing something else. And I'm a sloppy painter, so I let her paint. It looks amazing. Thank you, Joe, if you're ever watching this again. Um, our countertop for our sink is the only thing that we did not do ourselves. We have, our neighbor has a good friend and he hooked it up with some Corian, which is like stone, it's not butcher block. That's what we wanted at first. But this is, uh, looks great and it was way more affordable because we got a little bit of a hookup. So um, the guy who cut the sinkhole and everything actually mounted it for us which is awesome so we don't have to do that i had no idea how to mount it um, and it looks great next thing is the shelves so these were up there in the last video and now they are down here we actually stained them we had stained them but if you couldn't tell they're like black they're not even stained it looks like we just painted them black. So today I have to take them apart and basically use the stencil or the cutouts for this and redo this part. Sucks to have to redo, but we hated the color of the stain. So we're gonna stain them two or three shades lighter with a different stain and then it'll just make it feel more lively in here. It was really dark when they were all stained like this and up there, it just gave the the van like this dark feel so we're gonna do that today After all the pieces were cut, they were sanded and coated with a fresh new varnish. Once the varnish was dry, we coated them with polyurethane, then moved on to the next project. The final project was the upper kitchen cabinet. This was one of the projects that we thought was going to be a big challenge, but it ended up being easier than we thought. Coming out the barbershop too lit. too lit. Parking 
pocket full of nickels blowing super troll. Uh, smoother than the Cadillac with cruise control. Doing what I do, you know. Women playing hard to get as I pull up on the boulevard, flossing it like, ain't that boy cold? Ain't that boy cold? On uh, something like a freezer, ain't I? Even when I seem kinda out of season, ain't I? Up to date with it, do your thing, don't play with it. Fade away sweet like Jay did it. Swish. Summertime with a winter breeze. Summer grind on my mind, I don't get to breathe. <laughs> All right, so yesterday we spent our first night in the van. We didn't go anywhere, we were just outside of the house. This is what it's looking like. We've put in two full days of work, and uh, yeah, the cabinet we built yesterday, we're painting it, or Jordan's painting it right now. Uh, one more coat, and then we're gonna put it in. I'm gonna install the sink. We have a sink right now, but it's not connected to anything. And then we'll be done. Jordan painted the cabinet, and then it was time to install. Oh, I mean a matador. Got women catching piss like a catador. Wow. It's so crazy. I should have said Kelly. I should have said only in this piece with the belly. Once the cabinet was installed, all that was left was to add some magnet latches to hold them secure while we drove. Oh, my homies be screaming, yeah. Hey, girl, yeah. Where you going, little mama? Hey. Light on, light on, girl. Put that spice off in my blood. Today is the first trip in the van. Now we leave for Colorado for our wedding next week, so we're gonna do a one-nighter in Marquette, same place that I went last week for, for last week's video. And yeah, we're gonna try out the van, see what needs tweaking before we actually take it on a longer trip. Um, so yeah, it's like the beta. This is it. I'd say our first trip in the van was a success. We slept in a remote part of Marquette and woke up the next day to do a little bit of riding. Did you get in the water? Did you get in the water? Go in there. Oh. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. She likes it. She's like, what am I supposed to do? Good girl. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Save it. Shake, shake, shake. Oh. Oh, oh no. no. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Before we knew it, the weekend was over, much like this series. This whole project has been one hell of a ride. Starting from an empty shell and no construction experience whatsoever to ending up with a livable place in a van and construction knowledge and experience that we can now use for the rest of our lives. We are no professional woodworkers or construction experts but I can't wait to apply the knowledge that I've learned in this project to many more to come down the line. That was it for this video and this series. 
thank you guys so much for watching and following along. I will post a van tour video here in a couple weeks to show you the ins and outs of the van after some tweaking that we have done on the road. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, remember to stay stoked on Spokes.